It's that time of year, the heat is on, and the ticks are out. Tick-borne illnesses like Lyme disease are a major health concern. So here to tell us what to look out for if you or someone in your family is bitten. We have Dr. Imran Ali, physician fellow at UConn Health. Thank you so much for being here. Really Glad appreciate it. Now, ticks carry more than just Lyme disease. Absolutely. Right? Lyme disease is what we think about when we hear about ticks. Yeah. But there's Rocky Mountain spotted fever, babiosis, and anaplasmosis. All these diseases are carried by the deer tick. Mm -hmm. uh, Rocky Mountain spotted fever is not endemic to our area of Connecticut, mm -hmm. but ehrlichiosis, otherwise known as anaplasmosis or babiosis, also is carried by the deer tick. Wow. They can affect us in certain ways by causing anemia and affecting our liver as well. well. Lyme disease, we think about particularly with, you know, the fatigue and flu-like symptoms. But Lyme can affect our brain, our heart, and the joints as well. Oh, it is scary stuff. It can be if it's untreated. So what should you be looking for if you think you might have been bitten by a tick? Well, there's a classic rash that we see, almost described as a bullseye rash right. that we see here on the screen right now. Mm -hmm. But this is not always the case. You don't always see a rash. But if we see a rash, your doctor will start treatment right away. We don't even need to do blood tests because this rash is so classic. Mm. Otherwise, the symptoms are fatigue, flu-like symptoms, especially if you've been in a wooded area recently. Mm. Or if you actually see a tick, you can tell your doctor about it because we can treat you within the first 72 hours before you start developing the symptoms of Lyme disease. Wow, so it's really the long grass that you need to be looking right. out for, There's right? There's a lot of myths out there. People think that ticks fall out of trees, and that's not necessarily true. I've always thought that. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> hiking is when we see a lot of people get the tick bites. Long grass, like you said. If mm -hmm. you are hiking, stay on the trail. Something as simple as that, but also, an insect repellent such as DEET, D-E-E-T, yep. can help prevent the ticks from attaching to your skin. One recommended for very small children because they, uh, you know, may put th their fingers in their mouth right. and they may, so for right. smaller children, the best way is to tuck your socks you tuck your pants into your socks because mm -hmm. that's, in the lower extremities is when we see the ticks attached. Oh. And if you see a tick, People sometimes do all kinds of things like peppermint oil or nail polish to remove it. Yeah. Don't do that. That actually will increase the chances of the tick, you know, releasing the bacteria into your blood. Oof. Take a tweezer. Try to get the tick off from the tip of the head, mm -hmm. slowly and gently. And as soon as you remove the tick, go see your doctor. He can prescribe a medication, an antibiotic, such as doxycycline within the first 72 hours. Even a single dose mm -hmm. is as effective to prevent Lyme disease from developed as oh. it was studied in the New England Journal of Medicine. That's good to know. And I know a lot of people will spray their yard. That's something we do because we have a dog. Yes, it absolutely helps. Also, have your dogs see the veterinarian. There are certain treatments that they can get to prevent ticks from affecting the dogs as well. There are different kinds of ticks, right? right? There are deer ticks and dog ticks. The deer ticks, otherwise known as the Ixodes tick, that's the one that carries these three diseases. Mm. Can't stress more than enough that elderly people or those who are pregnant must avoid wooded areas because treating Lyme disease or, you know, it can be much more difficult in those populations, especially pregnant women. Right, and if, you, and if it goes very far, I mean, it really can have terrible implications. Right, the treatment is 21 days of antibiotics, so it's a pretty extended amount of yeah. antibiotics you gotta take, but if it's untreated, it can affect your heart, it can affect your brain, mm -hmm. it can affect your joints, and the symptoms can last for a long time, even up to a year after being exposed. All right, doctor, thank you so much. It was great advice. Of course. Really do appreciate it. Helping people stay safe this stay tick cool. season. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you.